Well, welcome. Yeah! Oh! Yeah, thanks! I've, uh... I've, ne I've never been to a... a, a psych psychiatrist before. Well, that's, Doctor... That's... Uh, uh, Doctor... Kanata! Kanata. Yes, yes. Yeah. You, you, could, you could just call me Kanata. My friends call me Kanata. But yeah, right. no. I'm, I'm glad, uh, you know, you're, you're uh, uh, having this appointment and, and taking this first step. And let's, you know, yeah, we could take some time, get to know each other. I don't know what to do, doctor! <laughs> My wife is, is cheating on me! And someone in vir virtual reality! I don't know what to do! What am I supposed to do? Okay, okay. So, you know, what we can do here in, the, in our session today, we're not going to be able to fix all your problems, but uh, oh. we'll try to at least lay everything out and, you know, get to understanding, you know, maybe some of the feelings that you're feeling and, and some of the causes and, and, and maybe get you on a path to, to figure some things out. Is that all right with you? Yeah! Yeah, yeah, that sounds... Yeah! yeah. I would love to figure things out, Doctor! Well, that's fantastic. I don't fantastic. know what to do. Okay. That's, that's what we're here for. I'm, I'm glad, and I'm glad you came to me. So, um, yeah, well, you know, you mentioned, I, I hear that you're uh, really concerned and upset about, about your, uh, your wife and, and this incident that you had. Um, perhaps you could start with just telling us, you know, telling me about... Uh, you know, you and, and your relationship that, that you had before. Yeah, I've been married to my wife for about five years now. Her name is Kara. Mm, and uh, we were supposed to have a romantic date for Labor Day, as we usually do. And, uh, yeah, she, she didn't show up. I was waiting until, like, about, about two or three. In the morning, mm. and uh, I went on the computer because I, I I don't know maybe I I forgot something or maybe she planned something so I I was going through her email I know I shouldn't do that but I oh. I was just curious so I went through her email and um, I I found a, a romantic letter to another person I don't know. They're a man or a woman, their name is Egregious Billman or something, and... Oh, no. Yeah, she was planning a rendezvous with the, the sexual nature. She's gonna show up completely naked. And I think the other person might have also been naked, I don't know, I, I can't keep reading. Oh, no. Wife's going around being... Naked around complete strangers behind my back. I don't know how long this has been going on, Doctor. I see, I, I see. I've, I've tried everything. I mean, I've tried nothing so far, Doctors. I don't know what to do. Mm -mm. And that's perfectly normal and natural. It's it's a it's a very confusing time for you, isn't it? And and there's a yeah. lot of thoughts going on. I, I can hear that. Yeah, I can see that. So you know, okay. So okay, lots of things going on. Maybe we could back up. You mentioned Labor Day, right? Is Labor Day like a special day for you? You know, you uh, it sounded like you wanted to have this really special date, and and you were preparing all these things. You had really high expectations. Um, what what were you planning? What you know? What what sort of made that special for you and, and your wife? Yeah, well, I mean, I always thought uh, Labor Day never really uh, meant anything, so I was like, why not make it a romantic day? It was uh, I remember our first Labor Day date. This is about uh, ten years ago. We went to. Uh, I had a romantic dinner, and then we came back to my place, and we, uh, listened to a Bill Cosby special. That was mm. really nice. You like had Bill a good Cosby? Laugh. Yeah, but it's, uh, kind of frowned upon now. Mm, mm. But, uh, yeah, I, I did. I still do, but, I, I mean, I can't tell anyone that. Anyway, uh. I, I, yeah, I, so usually we go out because we both have the day off, and... 
I'll make her a nice dinner or we'll go out for a dinner and, you know, maybe we'll watch a movie or uh, something, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, like you said, I, I, I liked the idea of, you know, making Labor Day normally a, you know, just a regular holiday, making it romantic. And honestly, if you think about it, you know, what's more romantic than labor, you know, like working and people, you know, you know. That's what I thought. Big, yeah, big ass guys and muscles and, you know, you know, tank top shirts, sweating their ass off in the dirt, you know, mud spraying all what? over. and. <laughs> Yeah, just super, super sexy as fuck. But anyways, yeah, I totally get what you're saying. But yeah, you know, I, I, uh, I could totally feel, you know, you mentioned the movies, you mentioned the dinner and, and all these things. Is this, the, you know, typically the type of stuff that you and your wife like to do together? You know, what, what kind of stuff does, uh, activities does she like or, or, or y'all used to, used to do? What does she like? That's a great question. Yeah. She likes mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Have you talked about it before? Or, you know, yeah. the movies and the dinner, are these things that perhaps you like? Yeah, what I love she it! Like? She likes you! Uh, mm. She likes muscular men, and uh, mm. whenever you watch a movie, she's always pointing out, Oh, I can Bill! Relate. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. oh man, I love that shirtless man! <laughs> I love how they do labor completely naked. I sure could hug uh, that guy, and I'm like, oh. And and this I movie, love you. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, no, absolutely. When when you all are you know intimate and uh you know in in bed and and making love and you know does she sometimes scream out you know the the, the guy uh, the name of the guy from the from the screen? Yeah, she usually goes like, oh man. That handsome, you know, like we'll be watching a Tom Cruise movie or something, oh, or like, uh, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger or something, and she's like, oh yeah, like, you should have sex with me like the gardener from the Schwarzenegger movie, the guy oh, that was yeah. working really hard. No, gardeners, yeah. gardeners are the best, they got, they got that green thumb, but anyways... Um, uh, yeah, yeah. So, so this movie that you were planning on going, you know, on Labor Day recently, did it, did it have these big uh, men, or, or was it more like a movie that you wanted to see? Uh, yeah, it actually had a bunch of gigantic men. Mm. It was called Gigantic Men 3. Oh, I, gi uh, yeah, I, I remember that. Yeah, I, watched it. I actually watched it three times. Oh, yeah, I haven't yeah, seen right. it. We we're supposed to watch it, but... Mm -mm, I won't spoil you know, it for you. I... Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> yeah, threesome. But yeah, no, it's great. But, what? Um, no, no, sorry, sorry. No spoilers. Spoiler alert. No spoilers. Sorry. Uh, oh, okay, but, yeah, but, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, okay, okay. So, yeah, you know, I, I could feel from what you're saying how much you care about your wife and how much you love her with the food and 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 the and the movie and the thought you put into what type of movie right gigantic men 3 like you said um and and sh and, and and she didn't show up so um something that i uh we study in the field is uh, love languages it sounds like uh your love language might be acts of service right the, the preparing the food and the thought and the, the movie and everything um, but anyways, we'll get back to that later. Could you tell me more about the, the night when all, all this incident happened? Uh, yeah, um, well, I, I was just, you know, I was looking forward to our date, and, uh, I, I found out that, like I said, she's been cheating on me with someone. I don't know who they are, where they go, I don't even know where she is right now! She hasn't come home since then. I've been worried. It's been, I mean, it's been a few days now. I mean, she left me a message that said, I, I'm not coming home, but, hmm. you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know. She might still hmm. come home. Um, but uh, that night I went on the site and I tried to, uh, Try to make my own profile to like get back at her, but no one's really mm. responded to me. Well, there is one person that responded yeah, to me, that. offering me uh, twenty thousand dollars. So I'm I'm waiting for that. That's good. That's good. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad to hear you, you know, jumping out there and taking all these opportunities. I, I will say, you know, the mentality of trying to get back, you know, at her, that, that might not be the healthiest for you, but, you know, we can work on oh. that. We can talk about that today. Yeah. So, so you mentioned, you know, when she didn't show up, you were checking her messages? Yeah, I read her messages all the time. Mm, did she give you uh, consent to do that? No, I had to like install a camera above her ca over above her keyboard oh, to record her password. Is that oh. okay? I thought that was to a thing that every password. couple did. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm I see. I see. Um, it's uh not necessarily you know legal per se, but you know I'm sure it's okay. Oh. Yeah, but um, yeah. I mean, okay, okay. So, well, you know, you tell me, Bill. Why, what were some of the thoughts leading up to you installing these cameras and stalking your wife and, and being a total creep? Like, what were some of the thoughts in your head? Yeah, don't worry about that. What were some of the thoughts in your head? You know, like, what were some of the fears, perhaps? I just wanted to know what she's up to because lately she's just been kind of disappearing hmm. more and more and I haven't seen her lately. I guess I know now. Where she's going? But I, I just was curious about her, Doc. I didn't, I didn't have any mal intentions. I just wanted to know what she was doing, and now I know. You cheated on me. I don't know how long it's been. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And and you know, honestly, Bill, I get you. There's there's a lot of these kinds of thoughts floating around, but. You know, um, and I believe you, I believe you that, that these were not malintentions. Um, but with every feeling, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a dildo, you know? The dildo has multiple parts. There's the tip of the dildo, right? And then there's the shaft. And then at the very bottom, underneath all the hair and pubes is the balls. What we're trying to do today is get to the balls of the feeling. Okay, so what you explained to me is the tip, the, t the tip of the dildo. Um, you know, you're saying that you just want to know where she's been, right? And, and you're worried about her, but let's see if we can dig down, you know, just wrap our heads and wrap our mouth around the, the, the shaft and just see if we can get down to the balls today, all right? So, you know, you're worried about her. I hear you also really enjoy spending time with her. And perhaps, did you start feeling lonely? and perhaps insecure about being left Can't alone. Can't stop thinking about dildos now, Doc! Yeah, me, I'm insecure around all sorts of dildos. She'll bring them home. Mm. I hope it's okay we talk about, I mean, I no, guess you brought it up. Talk about yeah, anything. so this she'll- Safe space. She'll bring home a bunch of dildos and I'll be like, oh! Okay, she'll be like, I'll right, see you later and then I won't see her for like five days. And she'll come out, she thinks she's really happy, and then we're good. Hmm. And, uh... Hey, anyway, sorry, what was your question, Doc? How do I feel? No, I don't remember the question, but I'm oh. curious to hear more about the dildos. What kind of shape and color and size were they? Uh, she had, like, all kinds! Hmm. There is one called, uh, Bad Dragon. Mm, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, five yeah. of them. I love that one. That one's great. They use oh, it in, yeah, uh, you know Big Guys 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I haven't a seen Big Guys 3. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I, I've seen it three times. But anyways, um, so, okay, okay. You know, I, 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 uh, you know, I don't want to put words in your mouth um, because that's not what a, you know, a trained professional certified therapist would do. But, but I'm not, so I can do that. So I'll put words in your mouth. Great. I think as we climb down the tip of the dildo and get down to the shaft and head towards right. the falls. <laughs> okay. I, I, I think I think you're you're feeling lonely. I think you're afraid of uh, your wife leaving, and you know sometimes we just gotta recognize people got their reasons. Maybe your wife's not the best communicator, and it's yeah. also natural and valid of you to be worried and 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 fear being alone. It's terrifying. It's sad. It's it's uh, you know turns you into a creepy stalker, and and that's not malintention. That's perfectly okay, but. Well, I'm if a that's, creepy stalker. I wouldn't even say if, I'm a stalker. I just, if, that's, if that's behavior that you want to change, right, for the better. I mean, you know, uh, do I have and, to change that? I like, I like watching her. She's my wife. 
Mm, yeah, well, tell me more about that. What what do you like to watch? Well, I like the recorder while she's walking around and I'm just looking at her. Mm. It's kind of hovering over the camera and she doesn't know. I'm like, oh, I love you. And then I pretend that she's talking and she's like, oh, I love you, Bill. And I'm like, I love you too, Cara. And uh, we're pretty happy in that scenario where I'm just watching her like, mm, doing the laundry it. or making a sandwich or something. And, and no. she says, yeah. I love you, Bill, out of the blue, just by herself in the in the kitchen, in the laundry, in the living room. Well, you know, I assume she does, yeah. I mean, if she knew mm -hmm. I was watching her, probably. Is she is she wearing clothes when, when she's walking and when you're watching her? Uh, not all the time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Okay. So this is a really special connection that you've built with your wife. And when you saw, you know, your wife's DMs about her... You know, what not wearing clothes in front of another person. Did you feel jealous? Yeah, I feel really jealous. I I was scared. I thought I was the only one that could, could see her naked, doctor. I I don't know. That's the thought of her being with somebody else drives me crazy, Dad. Mm. I don't know if I could film anyone else but Kara. I see, I see. You know, I, I totally get that. W would you say, you know, you just said something, you know, really important just now, you know. Um, you, you can't see her being with anyone else. You, you know, don't know what you'd do without her. Um, let's play a hypothetical exercise. What if, hypothetically, uh, that's what Kara wants and that's what makes Kara happy? How would you I feel mean, about that thing? Are you videotaping her? I assume no, no, that's no. what her, you her want. Leaving, oh. leaving for someone else. What? Yeah. yeah. Why would she want that? A divorce. I don't know. Hmm. Why would she because... want that? No, I guess she gets just that happy with me. Hmm. <laughs> Truth hurts sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bill, this this is really good. We're making a lot of progress. Just just cry it out. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. So so Bill, I'm looking at the time right now, and we've finished our first hour of our first session. Would you like to pay another um uh you know uh uh. Nine nine ninety nine for for another extension for a second hour. I got some free time, but you know we're making really good progress right now. We can we can. Nine ninety nine. Yeah yeah nine nine. How much was the first hour? Um, that one was um nine thousand dollars, but don't worry about what? it. What? It's, it's only over nine thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Wait, what's the second one? Nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Uh, nine ninety nine ninety nine, which is shorthand for nine hundred thousand. You know what? Don't worry about that. Let's move on. Let's move on. Don't yeah. worry about that. I want to do it. So, on the last episode of Dragon Ball Z, we talked about how, how how you felt like you couldn't see her with somebody else, and how how you you know you just can't live on without her. What if she's happier that way? Um, you know, with the divorce, Could would she you be feel happy for her? No, that would spite her oh. and her loved ones. Hmm. You and I would her curse her friends. like a ghost. And would that make you feel better? You know, taking this um, revenge and the spite, right? All this anger and rage, all this payback, yeah, yes, fake I, accounts. Yeah, I think it would make me feel better. I'd love to haunt her. You know, be like, hey, car, I'm watching you. It's Bill. You know, from the afterlife. Hmm. I guess I don't want to be dead in that scenario, but if I were dead, I would haunt her. Mm -hmm. And that's okay, too, you know? People like you should be dead, but that's okay. We work with What? It. That's why therapists exist. Oh, but anyways, God! Yeah, no, Is that, that true? Is that how people about feel it. about Bill? I so, thought I was very well liked. You, you are very, very well liked, you know? Um, and that's, you know, one of the big things that we want to talk about is... Do you like yourself? You know? Mm. Mm hmm. I. I don't like mm. myself, Doctor. 
I used to do when I me and Carl used to have our Labor Day dates. We'd only go on one date a, a year. I'd like myself then. Lately, Jack, I, I haven't liked myself very much. I don't know what to do when I wake up, usually. You know, she makes me breakfast, and then I, she goes to work. And I stay at home, I play. I play hearts. Hmm. Online. And then she comes home, and then I... Then she makes me dinner, and then we then she goes to bed. And then I, uh... And then I go to bed. And it's a great life, Doc! Hey, yeah, no, that, that does sound like a great life, and you deserve all of those things. Do you, you like the breakfast? Do you, you know, you like the games? You like the sleep? You know, you like being a lazy ass? Like, do you like a lazy ass? I'm a lazy ass! So I work pretty hard, Doctor! Or I did! Mm hmm. See, so, guys, I already got laid off recently. I used to work at the 7 Eleven. Oh! Uh, yeah. A couple blocks down. Yeah, I almost became a manager, but they, they kept me as the cashier because they said, You know, Bill, you know what to be a cashier like you. So I can't give you a promotion. And I said, Oh, I took it as a compliment. And then yeah. they fired me. So I had to sell my, I got a projector for her for during our, our date. I had to sell my car for that because I didn't have any money. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that, so now I don't have a car anymore. I had to walk here, it took me about three hours. Hmm, I see, I see. Wow, you sold, you sold your car to get a, a fucking projector. Yeah! Wow, that's mind-boggling. It was expensive. Mm -hmm. It's like $200. Wow, so you sold your car for $200. Like 205, I bought a, a Kit Kat bar. Mmm. Wow. I see. Well. They not well, how much cars are worth. I thought cars were worth much less. Yeah. And projectors so, are worth much more. It's important to take a break in between, you know, therapy uh, breakthroughs, right, during our session. So, you know, just as one of, a, one of our random break topics, let's see. So I actually have a projector okay. back here. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, would, you, would you like to buy it for, I don't know, like your, your house? Um, My house? Yeah, your I mean, your that's a pretty bad fluid. deal for you, Doc. I mean, spinal fluid? Yeah, I'll take I'll take a kidney even. You know, I you know it's an old projector. I could you know. I, could, well, I don't have. I mean, yeah, I would, but I don't anything. have any use for a projector anymore. It was for. I mean, do you think it'll help me get her back if I buy a projector from you? You know, yeah, I I, I think oh. it will exactly like. I'll you take said. all yeah. your projectors then, Doc. Oh great! What do you need? Spinal fluid? Yeah, and, my house. And, yeah, a kidney. Your house. You know. Um, a box if you have one, you know. Um, I have a box. I mean, I'm gonna need yeah, the box. The clothes on your back. After I said, give you my house. Yeah, yeah. Your, your dignity. Well, I can't. You know, I mean, that's... I could give you the clothes on my back. That's not. I mean, that's not yeah. worth very much. Bottom for like two dollars. Deal. Deal. Okay. All right. You know, we made some really good progress. All right. So let's get back to the topic at hand. So. So, so I, I think, I think we're ju we, we, we just touched the pubes just now. I think, um, you know, you were, you were talking about how you, you, you maybe don't really like yourself all that much. And uh, yeah, you were talking you about, think, I mean, yeah, I was, but. Do, do you think that maybe that you're using Kara or part of, you know, what you're hoping Kara can do for you is fill in that void? Right, that and, and 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 hope hope she'll love you because you don't love yourself. Oh God! Mm. Exactly what's going on, Doctor? Mm, mm. Keep crying. Let me bottle these these teardrops real quick. Don't worry about this. I'll, Wait, I'll well, this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This would be good. So. <laughs> hmm. So a lot of times, um, these types of personalities can stem from childhood. 
childhood, um, maybe things that you've experienced, the environment you grew up in, the people who influenced you during childhood made you feel loved or maybe didn't make you feel so loved. And maybe you took on that characteristic of not really loving yourself. Could you maybe tell us, tell me more about your childhood? Yeah! Uh, I am! Um, I grew up in a hole! My parents mm. abandoned me when I was mm. when I was about three, and so I lived in a hole for about fifteen years, from three to eighteen. And then I got a job at the Seven <laughs> Eleven. Oh. And uh, here I am, Doc. I see. I see. And how did that make you feel? I don't know. I was busy home. trying not to starve to death most of the time. I uh, would eat bugs and cans and garbage. People would, you would throw a throw garbage at me. Oh, it's the whole kid. Mm. Here you go, some garbage. And I, I learned to eat that's, garbage. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good burn. They, they, they got you pretty good there. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Mm. So, so, I guess. So, I, so, I mean, so it, it's kid. truthful. I lived in a hole. Yeah, no, no. I, I, I'll take that. So it's so a whole kid. Um... You know, would you say that as you were sitting in that hole, the the bigger you dug that hole, the bigger the void, the empty void was in your heart? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I didn't have any friends, and I didn't. I didn't know where to go or what to do, and. I don't know. I, I feel really alone growing up, Jock. I, I gotta admit to you, living in that hole for 15 years. Mm. Wondering where my parents went, why they abandoned me. I don't know. I, I thought that was kind of common, is what they said. Every Everyone gets abandoned when they're three, Bill. We're just uh, doing what other people do. And so I thought uh, that's just what everyone did was abandon their children in holes. And apparently, yeah, yeah, apparently yeah, yeah. That's, that's not. Oh, well, that is what happened. That's partly true. You know, it's, oh, okay. it's uh, parents mentally and emotionally abandon their kids. You know, around yeah. uh, around nine months. You know, after all the crying, most parents aren't dickish enough to uh, uh, do it physically. You know, because uh, cause, cause, cause they, need, they, they need that sort of uh, child labor, you know, um, and, and, oh. and, and, you know, it's like a, it's like a, it's a good investment. It's, it's a, you know, you, you, you put them through school and, and, and they make money for you and then you guilt trip them to come home, you know, send you a check every month and, um, you know, come to your uh, dinner parties and such. But anyways... Um, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know about any of that. So I don't know why I'm talking. I about have no it. idea what you're talking about. Yeah, that's okay. Um, so, hmm. So, so you said you had no friends, nobody at all, no uh, person, you know, no. that entered your life, no influence, no role model, no, no person. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, well, there, were, no. No, I haven't had any friends. I mean, Carr's my friend, or at least I thought she was. Mm. You're my friend. Oh, oh no, no, no! You're, you're. No! Sorry, motherfucker. Okay, but tell me about Kara. Oh. How did you meet Kara? Uh, I met her on the street. I was begging for money, and she said, "Oh, you're kind of cute." Mm. And I said, "Yeah, you want to go on a date?" She's like, "Sure." And uh, we went to uh, went to a, tra a trash can. Cause I didn't have much money back then, but I knew the best trash cans in the area. So I uh, found a nice trash can and I found some food for her and me. Have you have you two ate. ever gone to like a like a grocery store trash can? Those trash trash cans are are the best. They throw out you know their their food. Starbucks even Starbucks has really good trash cans too. Yeah, I'd highly recommend four and a half stars on Yelp. Totally. The Starbucks trash can. All the muffins and cake pops and stuff. It's a great idea. I had to try that. I... Yeah, I'll try that. That sounds yeah. good. 
you know, next time you go on a date, you should invite somebody to go go to the Starbucks trash can with you. See, see, see what they do. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Well, Bill, how how do you feel? You know, you you you, you told me right, about. Actually, I feel I've never told anyone about this. I um, not feel bad, but I actually feel pretty good. I think Carl's gonna take me back after this, Doc. Oh. I feel re-energized, and it's all because of you, Doctor Conrad. Oh. I oh. You yeah, thanks a lot. You're mm. you're a lifesaver. Okay. All right, see you later. All right. Well, I'll I'll see you again soon. Here's the nine dollars. <laughs>